Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the press center of the Eurovision Song Contest 2016. My name is Jovan Radomir, and I will be holding this press conference. And a special hello to all our online viewers out there following this. It's time for us to give our love to Sanja from Serbia. Good afternoon, everybody. Can somebody sit next to me, please? Yes. <laughs> They're coming. Nobody wants They're to sit coming. next to me. What's wrong with me? Okay. No, Ilke's right here. Whatever. So, welcome, Sanya, and welcome the Serbian delegation. Thank you very much. Everybody's sitting fine. Great. Hi, babe. So. Walk us through the rehearsal, the second one on the stage. Great excitement, that's what's going on. Yeah, the moment we stepped on stage means, I mean, I'm, I'm talking in the name of me and, and my performers and... Where is my... Oh, here's my ballet dancer. Milos Shiselevic, please. I said, I said, and my girls, and I always forget to say my girls and my boy. So, yeah. <laughs> um, can somebody else tell, say something, please? <laughs> you, mean our you just, you just our explained boy. our your rehearsal for us, how it was, your impressions, if there's anything to work with for the next time. Sure, sure. Well, it's much different than the first time. It's actually, I can say it's much better than the first time, because when you have your costumes on, I mean, your stage costumes, everything is much, much different, and you can involve yourself much more, express your emotion um, vividly. And uh, I liked it best because I feel powerful, you know, in that skin-like costume. It's awesome, and uh, it's definitely something. Well, something that I consider I can work on is my emotion more I mean I can I can work on it to to be more expressive so yeah that's something I think I should work on but definitely I'm really pleased with the whole how, how it went so um, the third time will be better and the performance I hope it will be perfect so. and the cameras they are in the right spot yeah 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 definitely I follow them like I wanted to <laughs> <laughs> can you explain to us what this song means to you of course well um, Thank God I have never had experience with uh, with the strong emotion that this song's bring this song brings and if somebody doesn't know the song and the lyrics actually bring with itself a strong message and that is um, a social it brings a social issue that is abuse over women and um, uh, it represents a powerful rom woman that um, starts with a huge problem when in her life but definitely fights and and uh, and leaves victorious out of it at the end of the song. So um, what it means to me is that um, it teach, teaches me to fight for myself, not only regarding the problem, but generally uh, all the problems that, that, that can you know, come across in, in, in the life. And uh, definitely abuse is something that we have to, I mean, definitely stop. And, uh, pay attention to and Eurovision is the best place to talk about it isn't it and um, I hope that the emotion that we are about to express in our performances are uh, are real and that the people will you know understand it and persuade the problem you know, pursue it how has the reactions been on the lyrics and the message of the song up to now yeah uh, well um, in the, the first moment that somebody hears the song, I think they, they don't really listen to the lyrics at first or know the message of the song. I mean, generally people listen to music not really listening to the lyrics. I had much experience with that, I mean, talking to people. But definitely when you, when you put it out in the open, when you say, hey, 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 okay, now listen to the, what, I'm, what I'm saying. I mean, it can also be um, a love song, an, an unhappy love, I mean, but... It has, we, we, want it to, we want it to be subtle, not to be so out in the open with some words that are maybe not suitable for, for this kind of manifestation. But still, I think uh, personally for me, when, uh, I heard the, when I heard the lyrics for the first time, when I sang them, I, I wanted to, because 
obviously I'm a vibrant person, I'm much positive than, than I'm pessimistic, but also it's, it's quite hard for me to express the emotion in the right way. I had some trouble doing that, so I, I had to have, I, I had to, you know, practice, have a lot of practice working on it. So um, I hope that in the end it's going to be all great, but definitely it's something that, that for me personally, I, I, I say that it, it, it leaves a strong emotion behind. Questions from the audience? Yes, please. Yes. Gentleman in the back, black t-shirt. Hi. Hi. Uh, Alexander from ESC Bubble. Hello. First of all, I have to say it was a great performance. Thank you. Um, a lot of countries uh, this year have uh, their colors on the LED, on the LED screens, and yeah. this is not the case with Serbia. Even your costume sort of represents uh, Albania. And, and my question is, um, is this uh, due to the theme of come together to sort of uh, um, get Serbia and Albania related or sort of connect. Thank you. Uh, well, I think it's a question for uh, our director of the performance. I think uh, that red color doesn't present Albania. I think that red color is a color which presents uh, love strong passions, and everything else you can see in red color instead of symbols you saw. Our act, in general, uh, is about a fight to prevent growing persons of violence against women. And uh, that's our topic. And the triumph of united women, women over the abuse of a man is our idea. So I'm very sad that you recognize some symbols we didn't want to show you, because those symbols are actually in your head. Uh, in our head it, it, uh, are those things I told you now. So uh, when we will look at this performance, as you can see, uh, we re I think that we represent not just our country. Of course, it's Serbian song, it's Serbian country. But it is the idea which is unique, universal, and the idea for all abused women all over the world and Europe. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sanya, yeah. if I say Aidebre, what do you say then? <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you want that reaction? Uh, I wanted a reaction because I heard it maybe 45 minutes ago. Someone else said that. Really? Yep. A <laughs> I good can friend guess of yours. Said it. <laughs> That's why I say kinkapara, which means uh, yes, sweetheart, in, in Hebrew. <laughs> so what have you been planning together? Uh, I don't know if he told you anything because, uh, because I didn't consult him. I don't know what, what can I tell you. He told, told us something about a song. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, we, we are working on a collaboration. I'm really excited about that. So I, I'm, I, I, I'm not sure if I can tell you everything. I'm sorry, but I'm really... He yeah, told us something about you performing the song in a couple of days. That's true. That's true. We're going to perform it on the Israeli party. Yeah, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, I love the song. It's vibrant. It's positive. It's, uh, it's full of uh, dance rhythm. So it's something that represents him and I. So, so you and Hovi came together. Definitely. Cool. More questions from the audience? Yes. yes. In the back. Hello, Sanya. Patrick Hello. from EFF12 uh, Eurovision Radio in France. Congratulations for your performance. Thank you so much. Uh, you're performing with uh, four backing vocalists, Indeed. which are amazing. Can I, can, I, can I represent them? Can I name them? Of course, All. Of course. On my left first, this is Jelena Djuric. Please, please, round of applause, yes. Right next to her is Iva Pletikosic. Dunja Vujadinovic. Lena Kuzmanovic. And of course, last but not the least, our dancer, performer, Miloš Iselović. The aggressor. <laughs> Proceed, please. And, and I would like to know if it brings you more energy Definitely. On, on the stage. Yes, yes, it's a huge support. I'm really happy that I have these women by my side because um, these past few, couple of months that we have been working on this, this uh, performance and the song in general, 
I, uh, I made, made them my friends, my really close friends, my protégés, something that uh, it can't be explained. I'm, by nature, I'm really, uh, I can fall in love with a person really easily, and they didn't make that hard for me. So they, they are a huge support for me on the stage and in life. More questions, please? Yes. Gentleman here in the red T-shirt. Hi. Hi. It's uh, Martijn van der Veen, Eurovision artist in the Netherlands. I see when I look at your name that it says Za Sanya Fujic. Yes. I heard that Za is a band which you play in. Uh, what's the reason that you use it also for Eurovision? Yes, well, Za, yes, is a band that I've been uh, singing in for four years. Um, I mean, I can tell a few words about it. Um, the music that we play is much, it's some kind of alternative. And it's, it, ba it bases on reggae, jazz, ska, punk, jazz, um, did I say jazz? Yeah, soul, <laughs> dub. And um, it has been, the, me singing that band has been the, the, the best years of my life, definitely. And um, the reason that they're in my, in my name, Sanya Vucic, Zara or Liza Sanya Vucic, is because, uh, first of all, I would, because I'm going as a solo art, a solo act, solo artist, I really wanted to bring them with me in some way. But certainly the, the much more technical reason is because my last name is kind of hard to pronounce. So Sanya Zai is much more easier for you to remember, isn't it? So yeah, that, that are, those are the main reasons. We talked about the meaning of the song, but yes. uh, the first reactions when you heard the song the first time and when they called you from RTS to tell you you were representing Serbia in the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. Your reactions? Well, first re actually, the first reaction I had was when they called me uh, to tell me. Well, first of all, they gave me a call to tell me that I might be consider considered as a representative. And then some time passed, like a month. And then I got the call from Dragan Ilic, And he was like, congratulations. And I was like, what? I mean, you're, you're going. I'm like, who said I wasn't? <laughs> when there was an idea when I'm not, that I'm not going. <laughs> I'm kidding. But he was like, aren't you excited? I'm like, sure. Pause. <laughs> but no, no, no. I'm, I was really, really majorly excited. And the excitement hasn't left me until this moment. I mean, it, it, it won't, I guess, for, for a long time. But the first time I heard the song, actually, uh, first I, I heard the demo version uh, that uh, was sang and played by, by the author, Ivana Peters. And she's my, one, of my, one of my favorite artists in Serbia. And uh, I was, first of all, I was so excited that she is the one who wrote the song. And I was like, oh my God, when am I going to meet her? Is this possible? Oh my, he, he was there when I, <laughs> when I heard the song. And uh, the, the lyrics weren't, uh, weren't the, the right ones, but, but certainly I recorded the demo like five minutes after I heard the song. And uh, I instantly knew that that's the one, definitely. Cool, perfect. Yes, a gentleman in the yellow T-shirt. Um, hi. Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Daniel from Sweden. Hello. And I think you have a very special voice. Thank you. And I think it's a bit similar to Amy Winehouse. Well, I think you, you're just... <laughs> I think that's a suge suggestion for, from all the, the comments that have been on the internet. I, I don't know, maybe to you, it so maybe it sounds like that, but I don't really hear it. Do you hear it? I think nobody hears that, but I think because it's it's um, suggested uh, because my my pre representing of the song, I had that hair similar to Amy, but that was a coincidence, definitely because we yes. had like ten minutes to make a new hair for the video recording, and it was like, okay, let's do something, put on the chains, okay, what else can we do, uh, do something, and that it was it was really spontaneous, and just we didn't mean to 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 do it to, to seem like Amy, and I think. Looking at me, maybe you thought that I sound like Amy, but I think I don't. I mean, she has an amazing, she's one of my favorite artists ever in the world, whole wide world, and it's really flattering for me to hear that, but I don't think so. But thank yeah. you. But it's not only, <laughs> modest. It's not only the hair, it's the voice. I know, I'm talking about yeah. the voice and everything else. Yeah, so it's good. Yeah, I can imitate her, but I don't think my, tr my tr true color of my voice, it's not the same as hers. Little. If you think, thank you. Thank Gentleman you. Gentleman <laughs> here in the white. Hello, Sonia. Hello. I'm Ian from the Zephyr in Scotland. <laughs> Very nice to see you again and fantastic voice. I can only Thank concur. You. Quick question. Your song's about a strong woman. Yes. Who's your hero in life and why? My mother. 
My mother is my hero, uh, and she, I mean, every, every girl can say that for her mother, but definitely in, in my life, she's a, she, she's a rock. She's one of the bravest women I know. She uh, is strong, confident, and a wonderful, loving mother, and she is a person that I look up to, and I want to be her someday, even though it's, it's big shoes to fill, but definitely my mother is, is, is holy for me. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, gentlemen here in the shirt, stand up, please. State your name. Hi, I'm uh, Jakub from Eurovisia.org. Hello. Oh, you already mentioned that uh, you sing a totally different song with your band, Za. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a snippet of such a song, maybe reggae or something? Sure, awesome. Nobody asked me that ever, but I'm really happy. Okay, <laughs> this is a song called Adi and Cool. Oh, I'm going to take this one. Can I hear myself? Mm-hmm. Okay. Goes like this. <clears throat> we all judge our children, and I'm sorry when I'm wrong. Intolerant is stupid when I'm playing strong. I'm learning, I'm a laugh at it, I will learn to get along when I'm in it. I'm Zion, but next to my bill, I'm making a rinse. It's a bit of a spot that they don't really fool. You're fake, and we've been by your knowledge, it's a tool. I know, I don't watch your body, this is not for sure. When you're good, and we love it, all the best thoughts to blow. I imagine the world with no heart, bring what you're about, and we're just trying to cut on me. No, I'm not going to lie, and you're beside me, watching me, loving me, rhythm me. No cut corruption, no place for my body, in a Zion, 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 in a Zion. Zion, in a Zion, 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 and it goes, whoa, 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 wicked, wicked, I have again cool. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> More questions? In the yes, back there. Lady. Hi, everybody. Milica Cernogora, Daily Newspaper, Skurir, Belgrade, Serbia. Hello. You were fantastic today. Thank really, you. with all my heart, compliments. Thanks. But my question is for Dushka. Dushka, we, we can see a beautiful woman behind Sanya on the TV screen, and they are very popular TV personalities in Serbia. And please say their names. It's a beautiful, beautiful jest yeah, from you. Th those ladies are from RDS, very, very popular in Serbia and abroad. Um, she's talking about our Natasha, Dusica, um, Sandra. Uh, Christina, yeah, uh, and uh, a lot of them are uh, on the screen. On the screens, yes. Yeah. More than 30 to, to 30 to 50 most famous Serbian uh, presenters on television, We're female. Thank From you. RTS. From RTS, of course. More questions? No more questions? Thank you very much, then. Thank you. We will, we'll have the opportunity to take some beautiful photos of you. Thank you, Sanya. Thank, Thank you, Serbia. You. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Photo ops over to the wall.